Yeah, so uh, you want to put the <laughs> put the sound bank volume up. Which one is it? The, all the way to the right. There we go. Play 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 that fucking intro. Are you on that one? Can't tell. Why are we playing this now? I don't know. Uh, hey. Check it out. Hey, Spirit Box is torn with Limp Biscuit. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put the camera audio in. Why not? Or we can just, it's up to you. We can either talk about what happened or just leave the shit in. I'd... All right. So basically, quick recap. We got some recording. Uh, I'll put it at the very end of the episode. How about that? Uh, if you want to see it, uh, we were talking about... Um, Spirit Box, a band that I really, really like. We've been talking about them. Uh, very sick. We got an album review coming for them when they release it later this year. Um, they are torn with Limp Biscuit, which I find incredibly fucking odd. Uh, we were, and you'll see at the end if you want to check it out, uh, talking about new metal and stuff like that. We talked about an MTV show. We're kind of bummed about it because uh, we weren't recording. Um, no, we were recording. Well, we were recording. We just end, didn't have audio. Include all that bullshit. Oh, um, I will. So basically, we were going through the checklist, blah, 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 everything's good, this is good, that's good, this is good. And uh, yeah, we start recording uh, for about, what, 15, 20 minutes. Somewhere around there. Uh, uh, and then we look over at the shit that's directly in front of me that couldn't be more bright or colorful, <laughs> and the faders are not up for our volume. Um, so I'll, I'll take fault and Nico will take fault for that. Check it out, guys. Listen, it's a team effort. To it is a team effort up as much as possible. And I'm telling you right now, uh, this is not an easy thing to do. Don't, don't, don't. We do enjoy that. it. Don't do that. Don't make it. No, we're dumb. It's not. Well, okay. We're dumb. All right, we're just fucking dumb. We're overextending ourselves. Um, <clears throat> next thing. be doing this. Next thing that we were talking about. So I'll put that on screen real quick. Uh, yeah. Good old Limp Bizkit. Um, I don't, I don't know if we said, I think I did say, uh, Norfolk, Virginia, August 16th, which is the closest to us. I want to go to that show. I think that'll be sick. That makes one of us. Um, can you look up the date for so, August 16th, what that falls on? That is on me? a Wednesday. Damn it. We need a Jeopardy fucking sound bank for this. This would be sick. Bah, bah, bah. Or like can we get copyrighted music? for that? I don't think so. I don't know. If, well, actually. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we just look up some stuff. Find that June, July, August, August sixteenth is a Monday. Monday, fucking god! Yeah. There's no way I can go on a Monday. Well, I might figure it out because really, really want to see Spirit Box. Anyways, uh, something else that's kind of fucking cool, kind of weird. Um, Fieldy is leaving corn, which we were talking about. Uh, the man's 51 he said health and family first. Something we didn't get into. I think what it is, is I think I may have seen somewhere else. It's a drug issue. He fell back what? into like heavy drugs again. The guy, and so he no. needs to, he needs to take a step back because he just can't get out of it. This guy's a good Christian. I could boys. be wrong. And if I'm fucking, <laughs> they don't do that kind of whack. I stuff. could be wrong. Uh, and if I am, I apologize, but I'm almost certain it is a, some kind of like drug issue where He's just like, look, I can't, I can't fucking, you know, I can't do it anymore. There you're going now. You're speaking out of turn. I don't really appreciate that either. I don't know, man. Those That's, are my uh, guys. I've always liked them. He says health and family comes first. Um, he'll be sitting out definitely this summer. We support him. Blah blah. The facts. Past six years, I've been dealing with some personal issues that have at times caused me to fall back on some of my bad habits. So what happened was what what had happened was. Billy had said, like, uh, oh, it's been health reasons. So I hit the laughter. Right? And I was like, oh, they'll get that. Because it's like me, whatever, dumb, low-hanging right. fruit, stupid as shit. And he was like, oh, they need to hear it. And then he looked over at all the faders, like, all right, you want to turn all those? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, fucked up. <clears throat> we here, baby. Um, but, Go yeah, so f- that that kind of sucks. But it's that kind of sound of corn. You'll hear us talk about that. It'll be camera audio. I'm going to try to fix it up the best I can. But, um, yeah, it's fucking wild. Um, so wild, dude. It, it it's a little wild. It's it's so the, wild. First of all, corn shouldn't be a band anymore. It's so wild. Plain and simple, they should not be a band. Mm-hmm. Hang it up. I didn't realize they were in their fifties, but I guess it makes sense. Fieldy was probably the youngest out of them. They have had other stuff I can't here and you there. Just, hold on, you're you're just carrying on with the episode. 
Look, man, the show goes on. The show goes on, but you can get plenty of more show if we talk about this major fuck up a little bit more instead of saying, well, that happened anyways, <laughs> just steamrolling through more content. It makes no sense. So I guess um, they might want to hear about corn. You guys can see right in front of Nico, we've talked about it a couple times, there's this giant fucking mixer, basically. I'm calling it giant because, quite honestly, I saw so many videos on it and thought it was a lot smaller. I didn't, I didn't even know that was a possibility. Oh, yeah. You oh, just played yeah. everything at once. Thank God you got a fader control there, huh? Yo, we're out here, boys. Yes, but basically... Sorry. Excuse me. Damn, this... I've almost drank this whole fucking thing. Oh, also, we're drinking Dude, North Coast Careful. Brewing Company's Old Rasputin. Um, it's pretty good. You'll see it, at the end. If you watch good. at the end, you'll see this fucking box bullshit, but yeah. it's fucking good. I had a... Fu whatever, it's all done. I have lost complete steam. In this, in this episode right now. so uh, Wake up. Um, but yeah, so basically there's faders there. Uh, they were moment. down. Um, uh, also, what helps too, just real quick, just note, there's a little house button on there. You wanted to. <laughs> what button? The little the little home button on the touch screen. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can go back to the broadcast meters, actually see that there is shit coming through. Get out of town. Yeah. And I get it because you wanted to go to those. I so you swear were looking. I was seeing that. Nah, we weren't seeing any of that. Well, fuck it. Fuck this episode. I don't know. Fuck it. I'll find out. Maybe it's good. Fuck Maybe it. it's not. We're moving. Maybe I'll just have to cut some shit. We're moving to Austin, Texas. We're going out there. Okay, what's in Austin, Texas? All the comedians are going there, dude. Really? For what? We're the funniest people we know. We got to go there. Joe Rogan's out there. He's setting up some sort of cult or something. Hands down, I am the funniest person I know. Right. For sure. So we need to go down there. We need to follow the herd. He's calling. Joe Rogan moved to Austin, Texas. How did you not hear about this? Oh, you don't listen to like that. I don't listen religiously to his okay, podcast. Fair, I don't listen to him at all anymore. But I've listened to all the people in a circle. I feel like most people our age do. Yeah, they're all down there now. Like a, a ton of them moved down there, and they're making their own scene because they were open when LA was completely closed down. All right, plus, fuck California, like, dude. State income tax is like dog shit there. Apparently, uh -huh, oh, the whole place is dog shit. No, I mean in Austin. Like there's really oh, like no. I thought you meant like bad. Like, like no, oh, there's no income tax really? or something. Yeah, like state income tax or whatever. So they're all down there. So we got to go down there now, dude. I think I would really enjoy Texas. Are we moving? And I hear Austin is a great place, dude. I can't. I wish I could. All right, I well can't. that bit's over. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I'm sorry. I have literally fun. been. I, this has been a conversation, honestly, between me and my wife, uh, for quite some time now. Of I don't want to be in this area. This area is shit. We don't even have a music scene anymore. That's not existent here. Unless you're like, oh, dude, I used to be like into like these heavy bands. And then like, you know, that cool shit jet came around. And, I, you know, I'm still like a Metallica old head and this and that. Like, and now your thing is like, I'm super into like these cover bands. They're like sick as fuck. Like there's nothing here anymore. There's not did you just do, do an impression of me for some no. reason? No. That was rude. Do you think that was you? I'm right here. Um, there's no music anymore. And my name's Nico and like so so <laughs> <laughs> fucking ass. There's no there's no music scene and that uh that actually really bothers me. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some good talent in these cover bands, but like we don't have bands anymore. There's nothing around anymore. Uh yes. I mean, there's people we know. Obviously, Alica, we've had them on the show. They're they're doing great. I mean, hopefully they get touring again soon. So as we're recording their new album next month, at the end of next month. Um, so that's exciting. There are some exciting things. There's a, a band. Um, they were called Wind City Sleep, and now they're called, uh, what the fuck is their name? Savage Hands. Um, that's lit. They just put out actually a new video a couple weeks ago, and it was actually really good. I shared it to my page, I believe. Um, it was actually really good. So there, there's a few things, but overall the state as a whole, there's again, there's other local bands. If you're watching, I'm sorry, you're out there, but there's no big moves here anymore. I, there's not even any clubs in vicinity with us. Our closest is Baltimore and some shithole in DC. Like that's it. Or fucking Norfolk. I'm driving to Richmond for BT band. Like there's nothing in this like quick area that I enjoy going to. At least. I got a great segment now. Great segment idea. It's called, because you're just doing it just now, Billy Bitches and Nico Negs. That's what we're doing. Perfect. I, I think we do that every episode. Shut up. Okay. See, I'm negging now. Shut up. Um, Idiot. It, it's just, it's frustrating. I, I hate it around here. And I think there's, 
Taxes are ridiculous. I moved then move. way the fuck away then from no, no, everybody no, no. in St. Every Mary's. Every time I hear someone complaining about this very sp- specific thing, just I move. Can't, I can't. Why? Honey, I love you. Um, My wife will not move with her parents here. Right. And that, and then that's your wife. That's your family. So, so there's now, nothing I can so do now about you it. get to shut the fuck up. I could still complain. And find good things about this area. All the good things. Like, um, 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 um uh, The basketball court where right somebody down, got shot. I'm right down the street. The guy at the basketball court uh, got killed, I believe. Uh, got shot in the head. Yeah. That was cool. Um, Because, oh, yeah. And then that kid, uh, that kid got shot. And Billy immediately texted me, he's like, oh, somebody got shot. We can't play basketball. We can't do the 1v1. They're going to come back and kill I us. I don't. Same exact okay, fucking first court. of all, first of all, it was okay, we were supposed to talk about this. getting competitive and frustrated with each other and then just like not backing down. It was a random shooting, gun. dude. They haven't bullshit. even found the guy. The not, dude. Not even real. Dude's no, walking. You're you, so you full think? Of shit. Just sit at your ring doorbell, clutching your fucking. I know you got a weapon in here. You're, and I'll have I'll have my needler at my apartment, by the way. But you, you clutch <laughs> your M fucking four that you're ready. You're just like, you're, you're jacking off. To the side oh, of like man. using it just like everybody else with like a fucking arsenal of weapons, which is fine. That's your right as an American. Okay, first but of all, stare at your ring doorbell, right? Stare at it and hold your safe and your weapon, right? And just sit there for the rest of your life. I or fear- go buy 300 acres. Oh, man. And then maybe nice. you'll be happy. Maybe you'll be comfortable. I fear a day that I would ever have to use that. It terrifies me to think about something it's- like that. But I do have it and I will fucking use it if needed. Don't try me. This is my property. Don't try me because, uh, yeah, this is my don't property. Don't even look at my house, even I though I love. live in a neighborhood with a lot of different people. <laughs> don't even come. Don't even walk on my street. People like that, you just need to go. Nico's just, impression to make. Go just ahead. Go. Listen. Just go. Don't, don't even look at my lawn. What you do around even here? You know, it's kind of attached to your lawn, and we kind of share the <laughs> land because we need to get our survey team out here to figure out exactly when your land ends and when mine begins. We got to put those little flags down in the grass, but we're not going to do uh, that. Oh, boy. There is some cool things around here. And, and and don't get me wrong. Like, I'm originally from Oklahoma, and I always said, I will always say I'm from Oklahoma, but let's be real. I moved here literally to Maryland, not here where I'm at, but to Maryland. We arrived on my 10th birthday, 3 o'clock in the morning on my 10th birthday. Very hard to forget that. I went from this giant house to a fucking trailer because that cost the same as my giant house in Oklahoma. It was insane. Yeah. I was pissed off at the world, pissed off at my parents. Why would we do this? But the shit and things that I've got to do here that I wouldn't be able to do in Oklahoma are incredible to me. So I, I you know, I'm almost a guy that's ready to fucking be a typical Marylander flying around this flag that everybody flies around. No, don't do that. Um, don't do that. Just get it tattooed like everybody else. Okay, that too, because I need tattoo ideas, in so that's shape, good. In the shape of a crab. Yes. With the inside just the, the Maryland flag, flag and then a fucking yeah. M4 right in the middle of what it. What else? What else do you see? That's really the biggest one I see. Ooh, fuck. Or just the actual flag. Or Some or, people do the state with the flag like in the state. Or it's shredded into your skin, and it's just like random right. patterns of right. the flag. Maryland on one side, uh, uh, America on the other side. Get right? salt life tattooed like on your forehead somewhere. Right. Little yeah. teardrop, salt life, right? Right. What else? I saw a really aggressive bumper sticker. Oh, it said, we the people are pissed off. <laughs> get one of those. Um, but yeah, so I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm happy with my experiences here. But as an adult who has to pay bills now, I don't like it. I want to get the fuck out. You want more, you know, maybe a couple more things to do. I don't know. To be fair, though, a place like Austin now for outside of Austin and I get to visit Austin, quite frankly, that that would probably be the best. But like Austin itself is going to be the same shit I deal with here, honestly. So uh, big city life and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, so uh, where the fuck were we? Uh, we talk about basketball shit. I want to move Austin. Yeah, comedians. Uh, we're moving. All right, cool. Um, well, let, I meant let's to tell say, my wife, let's pack it up. When are we? No, I was going to say, yeah, we're moving to Austin. Haha, ha, joke, dumb, stupid, fuck, shit, dumb, stupid. This is what I'm doing right now. Right. But we should get a storage unit. We need to get a storage unit. Right. I'm down because I want to move this. What do you think about a couch? Like Here? A, a love seat or like a no, comfy I'm chair? No, we move the pod. Oh, you want to move the pod move to a storage pod. unit? Think, th- follow me, follow me, okay? I, I'm following. Follow me. We just take what we need. Maybe some new stuff, right? We set everything up, leave it there. You get insurance with the storage facility for like $100,000 or something. 100%. Costs nothing, though. Costs nothing right. every month. And then um, leave everything there, get it set up exactly how we want. You come in, you open it, you turn it on. You don't even have to move nothing. 
and then we're done. We turn it off, and we're we're fucking out. The only thing, so the only thing I have, honestly, it sounds great. We would end up having, which wouldn't be very expensive. We would need to buy and literally wall off the entire thing with those like foam, those real shitty foam pads because metal box isn't going to work really well with mics and shit bouncing. But honestly, even if you put your drum set in there at that point or something, I mean, fuck, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna kill your ears, right? Um, but I'm saying we could even like. I bet we could make it sound okay with just some moving blankets set up on the walls. Oh, I mean, we could do that, or we could just build PVC pipes and throw them up there and just wrap them around in a square around us. May look like shit. What? So, <laughs> like you build fort? you build your walls though okay. with your PVC blankets. Yeah. On PVC pipe because that would be, I, I still think the foam even just attaching it, you know, in a way that's not gonna get us fucked or anything like that. Something that's easily removable and doesn't destroy the metal walls, even though we can't do that, but you just kind of put it up and it's fine. The issue is up above. That's where it's going to be a problem. And some of those storage units are open. You know what I mean? I bet if we Have do, you ever seen any of those? Yes. Yes. But I bet you're just overthinking it. I bet we can get there and make it sound pretty fucking Have good. you looked around? I over, I overthought everything. That is, that is a fact. Yes. There's a lot. Literally over thought everything. This is a lot of stuff. I was talking to a guy, one of one of our uh, extremely awesome supporters. Um, <clears throat> I'm in this fantasy football league, and he was asking for recommendations on. He wants to start doing like a uh, almost like a podcast, like a quick, you know, 15 minute podcast breakdown of each fantasy week because he used to type it all up, write out this big story, but he wants to make it a little more interesting, make it a little more fun, and uh, start speaking about it and kind of give his thoughts. He's a commissioner of the league. Anyway, so he asked me for recommendations on what to get as far as like a mic and an interface set up to start doing this at his house. And um, <clears throat> he started talking to me, and I think I was talking about a couple of these pieces. Oh, he, he was talking about the XLR cable. And he's like, oh, yeah, it looks like they're like five bucks. I was like, I wish mine were five bucks. And he's like, well, how much were yours? I was like, shit, I've got cables that are $90 a piece. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, it's for audio stuff. He's like, are they going into really nice speakers? It's like, yeah. He's like, what are they like thousand bucks piece? I was like, yeah, right about there. Yeah. Right. Pretty damn close. Um, so yeah, it's, I overthought a lot, right. obviously. So let's, uh, let's get back to moving. But think we could do it. Um, I would like it just cause it would free up. Like I've been getting into video game streaming, as I said, 150 times on here and having a little more space in here to work with and not have to do this. I would still have to bring my camera back. You may have to take one. Whatever. One camera. We set, well, But everything set But up. all the lights you and never shit. Because this, I'm this happy all gets it. broken down for the most part and thrown in a corner when we're done. Because you got to fucking work here a lot. Right. And you don't want this, all the shit up here. So we just it's we just leave it set up and we never have to mess with the it. The thought of not fucking with it. Because the only time that's ever going to end a storage unit idea is if I get what I want in my next house. Right. Right. And then we just have a place that we don't have. Well, I'm paying for it. But. We don't have to pay for it. It's part of my mortgage. It's works. Right. Um, that would be sick. I, that's, I, I don't know why you didn't say that before when you were talking about a storage unit. I thought it, I thought you understood. I thought I we said. were talking about like, let's have some guitars and my drums and shit like that. And let's have a place where I can go and play my drums kind of thing. I do not play music. No, I would. You don't play music. Do I don't. When was the last time I played? No, I don't play music. No, <laughs> no. Of course I don't play music. No. That was kind of my thoughts. That would be fun too. No, just to separate, you know, yeah, something everything. else. Why is there, why is there not something like that? Uh, maybe it's just not popular around here. Why is there not something like a studio? Do you, have you ever been to a practice space? That's not a storage unit where they just block off like a warehouse into there's, separate spaces. There's a couple in DC. Right. And, and I used to know some in like the Baltimore sure, they, area, right? Yeah. Why is there not a place like that for something like this? This has become the most popular thing on the internet right now. Uh, right. Because this is a tiny area. Tiny. There's a lot of people in Maryland. I mean, yeah, in Maryland, I'm sure we could find one up north. Like so what we're saying is you and I are going to go in halfsies on a commercial space, split it up and start collecting that money. You think, where would we even do like, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because the farmers around here are going to be <laughs> super interested in podcasts when they're just now Nico, getting the ground digging in to get fucking we, uh, fiber optic cables. We okay. live in a fucking city. Dude, this is even, not all farmland. Do you know what the population of this area is? A lot. You think it's a lot? I think it's a lot. You lost your mind. I think. Have you ever lived in a city? Um. Yeah, I lived in Waldorf. Don't say Waldorf. That's not. <laughs> that's not. That is like. That is like some some drag. What is it called? Was it's runoff from a city. It's runoff from a city. 
This is not, no, that was not a city. Uh, in the words of Paul Reed Smith, it is Northern La Plata. California, Maryland has 15,000 people. That's quite a bit. It's not a very it's large a area. Waldorf is 75,000. So the, imagine what DC is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, there's DC, there's literally 12 houses and the rest is apartments stacked on top of each other. All right. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead this and we're going to, we're going to, yo, his microphone is just drifting on its own. <laughs> I just bit it. All right. It does look tasty, I, I guess. Is this blocking your camera? I just want to make sure. No, I don't think so. It's not. So I'm going to have to fuck with what it. What we should do, since we're going to do this, and we're going to get a ton of um, locals in on this. Um, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna Honestly, say no, you know what? That That is the thing, though. Like, I have thought hard. I just don't know what I would charge. Because, look, I can, get, I can get somebody. Somebody can come to me and go, hey, I'm looking to start a podcast. Uh, your shit sounds okay. Right. What are you guys doing? And I can give you very cheap options. I can give you middle of the road options and then I can kind of get you kind of right where we are. And it could get a little more than what we have too. But I think we're, we're, we're on the upper end of podcasting options. Our mics are competitively priced with the higher end stuff. Um, this thing was competitively priced, but it's, I think it's the best bang for the buck. I've thought about like, what if I just like tell people like, yo, I've got all the cameras and shit set up. Just come and record here. But again, it's setting it all up and doing this. And then I'm like, well, what would I charge for that? When like after like 10 podcast episodes that you record, you could just buy your own shit. Or maybe that's where you need to get started. I don't want to invest some money yet. I want to do a couple episodes and then see where I'm at. I'm, I got it here. We're, we're going to sort you in it because we're going to make some money. Uh, Backline Incorporated. We got to LLC this bitch. It'll be real easy to justify somebody spending uh, $150 an hour when you're like, yeah, just meet us at Cube Smart, the storage facility. There's that's, cameras, that's there's where our everything. Businesses run in a in a tin can. I think it's there. And it's a five by five. So you can stand there and that's about it. You can't really shuffle to left or right because the camera's right there. The light is about seven inches from your face. And yeah, that's kind of that. Have fun. Sick. Yeah. It's so, fucking tight. But we can do that and we could rent out like 10 of those bitches and then just, yeah, just shuffle, shuffle the locals in, be like, go for it, man. Talking to this. Don't even record them. Honestly, why would we? Because then we're going to have to buy more hard drives and then we're going to have to guarantee them the video and the audio. Just be like, yeah, it was, it's in the internet now. They don't know. <laughs> be like, yeah, you recorded it. It's in the internet. Here's the, here, here's a URL. And then, uh, yeah, shoot them out the door and collect, the, collect the cash. Our Yelp reviews are going to be lit. Well, Yelp. Oh, God, Yelp. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, I went to these guys, and they said they recorded everything. And I can't find I've waited it. seven months, and so I've not seen it They anywhere. won't call me back, and I went back to the CubeSmart, and they're not there anymore. I talked to the people at the front desk. They said the place was auctioned off. I don't know yeah. what's going on. So I guess they're just going from storage <laughs> facility to storage facility and changing the name of their business. And yeah. Just, yeah, cashing out. Uh, you know, I, I worked with the idea. back line and then I went and saw guys that looked just like him called the front line. And, you know, I went everywhere else and it's, it's kind line. of a fucking mess. The sideline, the up line, the trash line. Um, Dude, we, this is a business though. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, this is a business. The scamming part of it or the actual business? Both. <laughs> if anybody like catches on, they're like, well, hold on a second. So like what hard, if they start using jargon, like, so what kind of a, are you guys using like SSD or what's going on? Are those mics like, so you need to provide your own. Do you have a pop filter, anything like that? Somebody could. Then you have to record them. But if they're just like. Quite honestly, though, like 128 gig thumb drive is 30 bucks, right? Something like that. That's all you need. And I give that to you or Dude, I charge I you an extra fee. Right. Okay. So now we're talking and about And now the real I business. edit the shit, which right. won't right. take oh, much. Oh, oh. The way our brains work, you handle the real business. And you I'll do handle, the scam. I'll do the scam. Okay. That's fine. Perfect. No problem. Speaking of scam. We need mustaches. I think I would get scammed like, like the office episode. The fake mustaches <laughs> over the mustaches. Yeah. Um, I saw this really weird. Okay. I don't even know how to describe it, dude. There's a, there's a, there's a concert that happened, right? What? Um, Are you good? I, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how, how I'm going to do this. Are you familiar with Radiohead? Yes. I only know one song of theirs. Creep. Thank you. Foo Fighters covered this song. Not completely out of the ordinary, right? That that seems like something that could be reasonable. That could happen, That's right? That's a foo move. Yeah, for sure. Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, you know, he's been around for a long time. He, he knows his shit, right? Um, I actually, I love Dave Grohl. I love that band. Uh, there's been shit. I think we talked recently about Courtney Love doing something and 
uh, talking shit about him or whatever. Fuck her, whatever. She probably killed Kurt anyway. Yeah, so dumb bitch. Uh, dumb bitch. Shut I up, love bitch. I love Dave Grohl, and I think what he has done outside of Nirvana is light years better than what Nirvana could ever do. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, a random person joined Foo Fighters on stage. So if you catch the end of this episode, you'll see me kind of questioning Nico about the new metal band and trying to have him guess Limp, Limp Biscuit, right? Uh, two guesses. We'll keep it short this time instead of three, right? That's much shorter, right? Please just guess. What are we doing? Yes. Two please, guesses who going. joined Foo Fighters on stage. I will give you a hint. It is a comedian and not an actual musician. Bill Burr. No. But that's, I feel like that's a pretty good game. That makes sense. He plays drums. Right. So that makes sense. So it's somebody that I don't even know if they play a musical instrument. How big of a name are there? Is it like Kevin Hart level? Uh, Probably bigger than Kevin Hart. Bigger than Kevin Hart. Bigger than Kevin Hart. As I a think comedian? Yeah. Bigger, now? Bigger, now. He's bigger than Kevin Hart right now. If we took 2010 to now, no. 2010 and before, maybe 2012 and before. Probably the biggest name in comedy. It's not Dane Cook. No, fuck Dane Cook. He, I don't know. Dave Chappelle. Oh, fucking. Okay. Dave that, Chappelle was, joined the right. Foo Fighters on stage for this cover of Creep. Well, I didn't guess I'm going to post a link in the description. I have not watched it because I'm just like, this is the most random fucking thing I've ever seen. Dave Chappell, dude. Like, just joins like, hey, sup? Like, I'm here to fucking sing. I'm a creep. Like, I, did, did he sing? Yeah, man. Jesus. This sucks. Little video playing. You're not going to be able to hear anything, but uh, let me just skip ahead here. Yeah, motherfuckers got the mic. Look at him. Sup, bitches? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm rich, bitch. No, that's Donnell Rawlings. I'm stupid. But he had the skit with that guy, though, right? Yeah, Donnell Rawlings was a part of the Chappelle show back in the day, and he said, I'm rich, bitch. I think he was Ashy Larry. No, I might be getting confused. Look at him. Like, he's getting it. He's not doing anything. He's standing there. He's singing. You can't see? I No, because it looks like he's talking. He's How would I know without... I'm a creep. That's right? Fucking, Anyways. That must sound horrendous coming out of Chappelle's voice now. Well, even back then it would have been, but now it's more right. froggy. Um, But yeah, I thought I was... Just, I, I come across this, I'm like... So what do you think about it? At, at first inspection, I'm just like, <laughs> FBI... Uh, female body inspector get, get out, out of town, of town. Um, I think this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen go on what's the point go on what like it's I guess it's Madison Square Garden wow really? I don't know if this was they they're talking about doing a show so I'm this is probably it Foo Fighters is doing like a 600 person cap at Madison Square Garden what show 600 yeah because New York is like wow have your fucking Vax passports ready to roll, and only 600 of you motherfuckers are coming in. That's that, what they that sound it. like. Right, it's New York, the right? Staff at That's what they sound like. Garden in, or they sound like they're imported. Right. Um, from Oklahoma, right? From New York, motherfucker. Uh, Love it or leave it. Um, Harlem. I don't know. I mean, I, I think Dave Chappelle, I mean, especially when we younger, was one of the greatest things that ever happened to us, but uh, I don't get it. I just, maybe because it's, hey, I'm in fucking New York. Foo Fighters playing. Play a song, John. Play a song. I feel like he does shit just because he can. Do you know what I mean? 100%. Have He's you seen? like, fuck it. I'll get backstage. I won't have to pay. Like, I'll just get in there and have fun. And I guess that's just, whatever. It's a part of flexing. And he's having a good time. I'd do the same exact sh I don't know if I would sing on stage. But they probably asked him. There's no way they wouldn't ask him. I can't see that, though. I don't. I, I mean, or he's just, he would, I, I don't, I don't know the man, but I would, I would see it more because they always have randoms on stage. They invite people on stage all the time. You've seen, you've seen that. You I've know seen like kids and stuff like that on stage. I don't know. It, it's, it's one of the weirdest ones I've seen. Honestly, I probably would have lost my shit if I was there though. Right. I would have been like, this is the greatest thing ever. Uh, I can't believe everybody else that, you know, weren't one of the 600 lucky of us who had their fax passport available. Uh, it sucks that they missed it. Like, I don't know. It, I think it's fucking weird, but that's a that's quite a take. I think it's weird. I think it's just I just said it, man. It's fucking weird, dude. Like shit. Um, 
Like I've seen Dave Chappelle. I've never seen him do anything musical except with John Mayer. And it was a skit. What do you mean? For like yeah. SNL or the Chappelle show. I'm assuming the Chappelle show. I don't think I've ever seen him on SNL. He always but. had artists come on the Chappelle show after the show was over. Remember, he would wrap up with like no. bands and stuff and rappers. Yeah. And they would shoot something not live. And he'd always just like be there. just like kind of dancing, <laughs> like hyping them up. It was it was great. No, he's a music guy. Play the fight song, John. Play the fight song. Have you seen that one? No. It's, it's with SNL, John Mayer. SNL skit? I think it's a Chappelle show skit. But he's basically going around to like an office space and having John Mayer like just play like heavier guitar than John Mayer. And he's like, play the fight song, John. Play the fight song. Like, <laughs> All right. Uh, and it's just an office full of white people, of course. And he's just like, play the fight song, John. Fuck. People are boring as fuck. Shit. Sorry, I got mad distracted. I had somebody at work uh, try to call me. Oh, that's I'm fine. I'm like annoyed because it's like almost eight o'clock. It's like, do not do that. A little late. Um, let me see what else we got here today. Uh, sad news in the music world. Well, the music gear world, I should say. Am I going to be excited? Uh, why would you be excited about sad news? Um, just be who I want it to be. Diodario co-founder Janet Diodario dies at age 72. It's not a laughing matter, my dude. Um, Diodario is one of my favorites. Uh, brands of anything that I use, I use their strings. Um, she started this with her husband, Jim Diodario, and I believe they are connected with Jim Dunlop. Might be the same thing. I don't really know how that works, but I know I use Diodario strings. Um, I'll probably always use their strings. I haven't always. I've used many other brands, but in the last 10 years of the little bit of playing I do, um, that's all I use, and it's, it's kind of sad. Um, just to see some of these founding people, like they're going to just start joining it away, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it sucks. Guitar strings. Uh, I mean, they make a ton of other products, but that's like, that's one of their bigger the only ones. Time, that's the only time I've heard of them. Right. Uh, but well, this, so the Jim Dumlot stuff, like they make, uh, straps, they make pedals. They, they do a whole bunch of shit. Dude. Sorry, this des still going. I, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Uh, no, this Destiny Two. Remember when I told you the other week I was raiding, and then this kid was like really being uh, kind of rude. Yeah, so I called him a cunt. Right, right. Uh, he, they invited me to their clan before that altercation happened. Okay, and uh, I definitely joined it, and I'm still in that bitch. Like they didn't kick me out. They forgot about me. So, and when you're in the clan and like you all are doing like missions and we all get the stuff, rewards, you get from rewards from it. Yeah. And I'm just raking them in just fucking, and I'm waiting for my moment to strike, to just leave and be like, yo, remember me, you cunt. <laughs> thanks. Peace for the, out. And thanks, thanks for all the, the thanks gear. For all this shit. You morons. dude. I, um, I just had a notification come on my phone. That's the only reason. Uh, why yeah. Like, oh, that's one thing I haven't oh, been able Squirtle to squad. Terrible name too, by the way. You think you're funny. It's not funny. You look that's, at, you look at something. Yeah, my speaker looked like it had like, like almost like there's paper covering it, but there's not. And I think it's just I hit my head on it earlier, and it's just like fucking oil from my head on my speaker. Anyways, that's pretty gross. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, but that's what happens when you're fat, bald, and white. Um, I uh, that's one thing I haven't done on Destiny Two yet is join a clan. It, it it's only worth it if everyone. And is there active. factions as well in this game? No, dude, they got rid of fucking factions. You See, I got, thought I was seeing New World Cult, cult dead, or whatever dead it was. Orbit, future right, war I was cult, always Future, future war, war Cult. cult that's and what it was. There was like maybe one that's other. That's a Dead War Cult. They got rid. Of, they got rid of all of them. I thought I saw Future War Cult. They're around, but there. you can't. There's but you nothing, can't join. There's it. nothing going on. That's so stupid. Well, there's no Destiny Three coming out this year. Yeah, I believe that. So it looks like they're going to keep it going. Maybe they'll so add just keep the clan with factions they keep in. Content coming like pretty consistently. So they're keeping it going, but it's like ten light level or you know light points or whatever you want to call it that you get per update. So it's something something like that. Happens. Like you can only get ten more on your shit. So it's, you go do a raid and then you're good to go. It's just so confusing and it's it's, it's frustrating because I have two people that know what they're doing, showing me what's going on, and it's still difficult for them to show me everything. And they've been playing the game the whole, so I can't even imagine being a new player, no friends, and you're like, I don't even know where to start. Nothing, none of this shit makes sense. So, yeah, I'm over it. But then I'm not over it. I'm still, still fucking playing. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, I haven't played in a while. Um, I've been on that COD grind, man. Um, I had one of my best Warzone games ever the other night. Got like three kills. Uh, I got nine kills or That's eight pretty, kills. Pretty eight good. kills. 
2,800 damage uh, with randos. Nice, dude. I didn't even use my mic the entire time. I just kept pointing. I said, come here. Let's so you, go. So you won? We placed fourth. Oh, so you didn't win. No. That's mm. probably still my best game, though. I don't, first I don't think last, I, I've never won. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know. It's tough. Uh, speaking of which, I just... are you, You're familiar with Tim Tap, man, right? I talk about him a lot. You kind do of talk on his about dick. him quite a bit. I've got merch coming for him. I can't wait. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I supported a creator. Um, He's your age. He is. Yeah. I think I'm older, but he's still 31. Oh. I'm, I'm still 31. Are you getting his face on a shirt? No, it's like his logo and shit. Okay. You know, same thing I would hope people would eventually do for us one day, you know, is order our shit with just our fucking dumbass logo on there, right? I mean. That we still need to work on goal. because I'm still paying for this shit that we need to fix it. Anyways, <clears throat> they're doing this World Series of Warzone tomorrow, which is basically your top COD players, your top Warzone players, your top streamers. All of these people. Tim is one of five captains. So he's got his team and then he picks seven teams or something. And all these people fill up the war zone map, right? And one team is a team with a guy named Cloaksy, who is somebody somebody he plays with every day. He plays with a guy named Cloaksy and Tim or Tim. Nick Merck's every day. Nick Merck's also very top, like him and Tim kind of compete. Nick Merckx, yeah. Like if Tim, if Nick is not there, Tim gets all of his viewers and vice versa, Nick's, right? Nick's pretty attractive. They're, they're, uh, yeah, Nick is extremely attractive. Got Holy that, shit. Got that fucking rock chin. Yeah. Fucking. A dude, cut. after he's done streaming too, like cut. video games, he's like, he takes the camera to the gym and then he streams <laughs> that and he's just fucking, <laughs> you know, fucking veins popping out of his fucking forehead. Or like Dick Merckx. <laughs> You know, he's putting Big it Big dick merch, baby. The motherfucker is rich as shit. It's terrifying. Um, anyway, so there is a team, though, with a guy named Cloaksy, another guy named TP, who I've been seeing come up. They've been kind of playing with him lately. I mean, Cloaksy and TP alone in each Warzone game, they're disappointed when they get 30. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, damn it. I just want that 40... I want that 40 bang or whatever they call. I don't know. I, I, I still don't. These kids, some of these guys are my age and they know the lingo better than I do. But I want that 40 bomb. There it is. I want that 40 bomb. 30. I'm not really impressed. I'll get 30. Whatever. Christ, these dudes are fucking. The, the word that I like today that I learned a lot and over the past couple weeks is demons. They are fucking demons. They lay out all these teams. And some of these people I've heard of just from the years of playing COD and shit like that. And I'm thinking Cloaksy and TP on a team together, and it's trios. So there's only one other person. I'll know the other guy. I'm like, if that if they're there, because Nick uh, or Tim is fifth out of five, right? That he picks. If they're there, he's picking he's picking Cloaksy and TP. Comes up, he's like, look, man, <clears throat> uh, I was thinking last night, and if I get these people, I had to go with my gut and. Uh, I'm going to go with these people. And I'm like, there it is. I mean, his whole chat, he's got 40,000 people watching him. Cloaksy TP, Cloaksy, Cloaksy, Cloaksy TP, Cloaksy TP. I'm going to go with Almara or whatever. I don't even know this fucking dude's name. He's like, these are my dudes. Uh, They're my boys. Like, I'm going with them. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You, you literally have 60 kills right here out of 140 every game. Out of 140 people, you got 60 right here. And you're going to go with these other guys that I've never even heard of. To be fair, I think the other guys are actual professional tournament players because this is a tournament where Cloaksy is just a streamer. I don't know what tournaments he's done. I don't know what tournaments TP has done. And then I knew it. He's like, it was a snake too. So Tim had one other pick, and he picks a whole nother team. And he's thinking, all right, Cloaksy and TP, if I didn't pick them, maybe there's a reason. They're going to come back to me. Comes back, two picks right before Tim, somebody picks him. Some random chick that she got popularity because of Nick Merckx because the chat was going back and forth like, yo, you thought this was a five-year-old boy. It's actually some chick, blah, blah. Nick's like, uh, what? I don't care. Like, fuck her. Uh, you know, I just thought it was fucking crazy. I want to talk about that. How do you not pick? That'd be like, I've got, I got to pick a drummer for my band and I've got you, Wade and Chris, right? And I go, I'm picking fucking Chris. He's, he's my boy. Right? Mm -hmm. What? Like, you, you just don't do that. Anyways. No, not anyways. No. What were we talking about? No, we were talking about that. Whatever whatever just happened just now. 
You want to uh, talk about my fandom? You might as well has been speaking Mongolian, my guy, because I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I talked about it. Turn, they, no, you don't, don't know. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. don't try to explain it to me. Like, I should have known exactly that breakdown. No, that was nonsense. <laughs> that was nonsense. That was fangirl nonsense. It just it happened thought, right as I you were walking I was in to my lady talk about another episode of The Hills or some shit, dude. Dude, I'm I'm and fucking then, and then I'm, Heather Heather fucked Brian. Like, dude, what? I'm all in on this what? shit. I don't know what it is. It is the you're gay. Uh, so I, I I actually felt bad. You know, we were talking earlier. Like, you know, we're still on that. We're on that grind, right? We're trying to get the numbers up. We're trying to do this. We're trying to do that. I have watched so much less YouTube since I got into like watching streamers play. It's kind of insane. Like I'm, I'm, I got to catch up like once a week cause I've missed so many episodes from my favorite YouTubers. And, um, because it provides so much entertainment, like I'm entertained throughout the, I'm watching some fucking fat guy play video games and I'm fucking entertained and I'm all about it. I'm glad you like things. I'm, you know, I was watching that something that keeps me entertained nowadays is road rage incidents because I drive so much that shit just like gets right. me going. I'm like, yeah, kill him. Yeah, kill him. And then it's like karma police and shit and cart narcs. I watch that. People don't put their shopping carts away. And then there's people that go up to them. It's like, whoop, whoop, cart narcs. You didn't put your shopping cart away. I didn't even know that was a oh, thing. Oh, it's the funniest shit ever. That and gas, gas station encounters is funny. This guy owns a gas station. And he has the surveillance videos and stuff, and he just cl- put, puts up clips. Oh, yeah, of interesting shit that yeah. happens. Mostly people. I've seen shit like stealing, that stealing, and then yeah. he like just commentates over, it and he's very funny. Yeah. Just stuff like that. I I don't really get down with like big personalities at all anymore. Like, oh, I do listen to podcasts, so I guess I am kind of a fanboy in that sense. But that's more of an audio medium. What you do know you know think I mean? the reasoning is? Uh, because I I know exactly why. When I was eighteen. It was my first day of college and I didn't have any friends. Like, you know, you're in high school and you have the people that you see before class starts. You have a person in home base, first period, second period, whatever. You know, maybe you'll go a couple classes or one class without being having like a boy there, you know, your guy. Um, but most of the time you're spoken for with a buddy and social interaction and feeling comfortable. When I got to college, uh, I remember eating lunch by myself in my car and I felt, you know, I was getting like fucking teary eyed like a puss about it. Cause like, I don't, I don't know anybody here. It's a change. You know, like I, I feel like a loser because I'm in my car by myself. And then I turned on the radio, you know, and big O and Dukes was on. I love that answer. What I was getting at though, my question should have been a little more specific. Why do you think you don't like the bigger personalities? Even though you do listen to some of the radio guys, you obviously listen to Chad Duke's show. Um, and you listen to some fairly big podcasts, but outside of that, somebody like a Tim or a Nick or some of these other guys, why do you think you don't like the big personalities? I'm like a contrarian that? petty bitch. What do you mean? Like, that's that's all it is. I just don't like that everyone likes them. That's really, if I like them first before mm. they got super big, I'll like them. And then as soon as, you know, I see. Friend of a bandwagon. People, see people I don't like and I don't like things they like. Once they start liking it, I'm like, well, I can't, I can't like, I can't like this. I'm better than that person. I just have horrible mental problems so, and, and horrible uh, ego issues, man. I'm fighting them all the time, though. I think that was my thing with Twitch for a long time. Shut up, bitch. I'm better than you. Is sorry. Everybody was like, you know, and, and then even Mixer for a bit there, like, and I, I've been learning shit, you know, over the past couple of months. Like, you know, there's a there's a guy named Shroud. Probably heard of him. These big guys that like jumped over Ninja, the the most commonly known streamer out there. Hate him. Um, he seems like kind of he, he seems cool, he's, but he's also kind of douchey. But yeah. I've seen him like on Dude, a more he personal on New Year's Eve. Like I don't know what else to say. Right, what but I've seen him need? on a more personal thing of like hanging out and doing stuff, and he seems like. It honestly, unfortunately, seems like a guy we'd probably hang out with. Yeah, but I don't. Okay. To be fair, I don't. I separate the dude from the business. So like, he's making money. That's great. But it's based on his personality as well, you know, as his skill set. So that is annoying. But I, I don't blame him for going out and getting that money, getting the checks and stupid endorsements and sponsorships, and trying to you know to be family friendly ish to a degree. Um, Except for the, but I'm not going to be a fan. You know, I respect him making those checks. I'm not going to be a fan though of that behavior, and I think that's pretty understandable. You know, yeah, I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm exactly the same way as no, far you're as definitely like, not. 
These guys are big, but I am you because I'm a Tatman T-shirt. I'm listen, say. because they're they're kind of lit. First of all, oh, they're fire. Um, he said they're fire. Okay, I, I didn't say it. they're fire. Mom, right? mom. Look, dog, I make my own money here. Look, uh, Apple Pay, mom. I've been finding a whole lot of shit lately. The fuck is this Amazon Prime subscription? <laughs> what is this, kid? You yeah, I work? am using my free Prime to yeah, subscribe well, to Tim Tatman, so I don't move. have to watch ads all day. All right, I gotta get out of here, man. Hey, listen. The shit's lit, but I think I'm, I'm trying to finish my goddamn point and you keep interrupting me. Up. Look, I think I'm kind of the same way. However, I'm not because while I was like, that's stupid. Why would you watch these guys? Once I actually started watching, I was like, oh shit, this is actually really entertaining. Now I know why people watch it. You got to, excuse me. <laughs> you got to give it a chance, dude. Shit is itty litty, right? I'm fine though. You could like stuff I don't like. Dude, just watch Twitch it all day. It doesn't need to just watch Twitch all day. Watch <laughs> me on Twitch. You, Twitch.television slash Chief Red Bird 88. You start, you start streaming on your Twitch of you watching streamers. Then you'll watch it. Then I'll watch it. And then I'll start my Twitch watching you watching streamers. Cool. You know what? I I wonder if anybody's tried to do that. Like, I you know, you on Twitch, that. you can host. Yeah. 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 What if I host him to tap man? Maybe I'll get a couple thousand just watching me watching that's, him. That's how no? it works. Doesn't I don't work think like that's that. Though. <laughs> it would work. <laughs> Hashtag Tim Tabman. If he was hosting you, then that's 100%. great for you. Hell yeah, right. dude. But if you're hosting him, trying to get like, it. who the fuck gives a fuck if you're hosting Trying him. to get it. Maybe when I become like an 80 month sub, I can get it. Anyways, um, I think that is all for us today. Uh, I am Chief Redbeard88. If you follow me on Twitch, uh, you'll find me on Modern Warfare as Chief Redbeard. Um, <laughs> We got sub subs up here. Uh, again, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix the beginning or I'll probably get too lazy. So the actual beginning of the episode will be at the end. Check it out there. You can find all of our links in the description below this video to everything that we got, including an audio version of this. Um, for those of you who have not watched episode 50, give it a shot. I do have timestamps in there if you want to check out our rap battle. Um, it was really good, I thought. And uh, we need you to vote on who you think was the best. Um and you can find out some rules at that timestamp of possibility of winning some stuff from us. Check that out. Even if you don't watch the episode, watch that part. And I think that's it. Yeah. If so, you aren't liked and subscribed, like and subscribe. Okay. The outro was less than 10 minutes. So I'm excited about that. Hit me up on steam <laughs> uh, uh, at women be shopping with no G <laughs> women be shopping, shopping <laughs> spelled just like that. Um, yeah, because I need some, some more people to play with. Oh, uh, Chivalry too. Get it. It's fun. Jesus Christ. Anyways, thank you guys very much. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, bye.